Hey everybody, it's your, uh, it's your best friend here, Rocky Pizza. Hashtag, uh, everybody please check in in the comments with hashtag Robbie P2 family. Welcome to another, uh, Robbie P2 Explores video. Uh, so, and, uh, of course, just to let you know, this may be a longer video than the last one. Because, you know, we're exploring another mall here in Colorado Springs, another indoor mall. Another, uh, kind of like I guess some will call a dead mall in the making. Because, you know, see here, empty parking lot here that I'm standing around. So, uh, the two, there are two malls here in Colorado Springs. We already did Citadel. I'll try to link that one down below if you haven't seen it here. But, we're at the north end of town. And now this is uh, Chapel Hills Mall. It's, the, uh, it's what's considered a mountain, like super region mall here on the north side of town. Of course, we're probably at the most uh, dead end of the mall here. And that's where I'm going to start. This is, of course, well, if, if you could probably tell. This is a recently vacant Sears, uh, two levels, complete with auto center, and a much nice pickup around the back, though. So, uh, and this is also a former Borders Books and Music, as you can see there, just that other light brown uh, building there. Uh, a little fact about this mall, this mall actually, at its peak, had up to seven anchors. It is now apparently down to just a few. And apparently there is there's that main seas here. Uh, hopefully that gets to still stay long term because I heard that company is uh, you know not doing so well. So so of course we have uh, you'll probably see later on here. We still have Macy's and Dillard's. That's for sure here. I've heard uh, Burlington uh, recently closed its doors here as well. But this mall had up to seven anchors uh, at a whole time here. So, of course, seven anchors. That was Sears, Borders, uh, Macy's, uh, Mervyn's, JCPenney, uh, Mervyn's and Bill uh, Burlington Co. Factory, of course, they're in the same space. And, oh, Dick's Sporting Goods is considered an anchor here as well. So, as you can probably tell, Macy's, Dick's, and Dillard's, they're still here. So, now, uh, a little nice thing about this here, the former Sears, it is now currently used as an event center. So you say, please, like, use the mall entrance, do not enter. Stuff like that here. So, a little rundown about this mall here. This mall was originally opened in 1982, built and initially run by General Growth Properties, aka GGP, with uh, Sears being the uh, being the very first anchor to open just before the rest of the mall. And its original anchors were, of course, as, as you can tell, Sears, Mervyn's, Joslin's. I believe, and a uh, catalog retailer called Service Merchandise. And then this one had some major renovations in, in 1985, 1995, and 1998. This, uh, mostly what you'll see here is from, uh, most of the architecture you see here is from the 1998 renovation. So... And I am aiming down here to pretty much avoid capture of a certain activity. So, so. so. all right. So. And now, part of the 1995 or 1998 renovation included an ice skating rink, which apparently you can no longer see 
<coughs> because in 2006, that space was converted to Dick's Sporting Goods. This is where the ice skating rink was on the first level here. So, and this uh, here on my on my left here is inside former Borders Books and Music. And uh, so, it's always here. Try to talk over music. Try to avoid capture of other people because this is still a busier mall. But we're going to try to add, ride every, like, public people mover here. Escalator, elevator, stuff like that, and get an update. So, yeah. There's the former Sears with kids play area in front. So, this is now a gaming facility here for kids' activities. This used to be down here, a, like, a furniture store. And, ow. <laughs> And there's Dick's Sporting Goods, came here in 06, took over the former ice skating rink, and now, let's see here, so we're going to go up to, well, take these escalators here, but first off here, this Chapel Hill's event center, Initially was a two-level anchor space here, it opened as a surface merchandise with Weston Mall, and then this surface merchandise here closed in about early 90s, and the space was taken over by J.C. Penney, and uh, J.C. Penney here closed in 2014, and therefore left the but uh, still left the lower half like vacant or used for events. I'll show you the uh, second half here as soon as we get off this uh, Montgomery GNP escalator going up. So. So. That was that here. And now uh, here's why the upper half of that former JCPenney anchor space looks a little different because this is now, I guess, uh, uh, Used again for temporary uh, sale space, kids uh, kids sale here. But this was supposed to be a Gordman's, which actually uh, Gordman's did try uh, being an anchor here in 2017. Uh, they opened here at the beginning and then they closed eight months after that due to uh, Chain's first bankruptcy. And this, of course, was before their acquisition by Stage Stores Incorporated. And now, sad part is. Here they are, uh, stage bankrupt again, and uh, we're going to lose our one and only other Gordmans, closer to where I live. So, well, let's go ahead and go back down for a little bit here. So, True Department Encore is a former Old Navy. They just moved across the street. So, and uh, it's Children's Place and uh, Famous Footwear. Uh, the former Radio Shack used to be here. Uh, here we are. I guess we got to walk down this uh, escalator here. So it is obviously not working. So again, Montgomery GNP. So, that's a little epic fail. So. And, let's see here. So, 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 probably show you a few of the stores here. So, of course, well, got a new shoe store here, but I think this empty, this empty space used to be Charlotte Russe, which corresponds to kiosks. Of course, no mall is complete without GNC. So, <laughs> Motherhood and maternity is closing. So, <laughs> ah. School of Rock. I wonder if it's really related to the movie, though. And, of course, you got your mall staples, Hot Topic, and Spencer's. And, man, they have changed over the years. So, <laughs> see. And... Now we got Go Toys and Games. 
uh, and the uh, airbus stall i believe so, i got the rocky mountain chocolate factory here that's some good stuff that's uh i think we'll get to that a little later that's the uh, one and only mall elevator so, and this is over here, try to avoid capture, but that's the one and only uh, small restaurants here on the lower level. Oh, I smell that barbecue here. All right, here. And of course, Coming up to here, these are the food court escalators. So that is a form. Uh, several restaurants have been in there. I know it's a former Ruby Tuesday. Sadly, they couldn't make it in this mall here either. So um, yeah, I know this may not be as important, but as you can tell here, all of our escalators. Are, Elevators, at least in the mall, are maintained by Otis Elevator Company. So nice of them. And apparently, since this is a, such an epic fail, so, hmm. I'll show the food court in a little bit. But these are Schindler escalators. The one and only set in the mall. So you see here, up is pretty much broken. So, it would be nice to see a new set of Otis escalators here, though, see. But, hey, when they're working right, this is pretty cool, you know, get to see the inner workings of the escalator. We show that here. Going down. So, there's that. So, it's important a little bit, so. <laughs> so. and of course this mall has got a pretty interesting configuration so. with the uh, Upper level being larger than the first one. It was built on a hill. So. And also around the mall elevators are fountain. So. Uh, this used to be a cell phone store, but it's over there now. We've got Build a Bear. Epic fail over here. Wow. <laughs> this just may not be our day. <laughs> oh well. We'll make it work. So. It's in this Macy's here. <laughs> so. <laughs> this I got a, I don't have the escalator elevator here. So. <laughs> so. It's this way. Of course, this, uh, of course, this here, this was originally a Jocelyn's department store when it opened in, I think, 1982. And then eventually, well, in the 90s, Joslin's the company itself here got bought out by another competitor, uh, which is, uh, which I believe became part of Dillard's. And uh, now Dillard's could have taken over the space here, but instead they, show, they built their own three-level space here at the time. And around 1994... Uh, May department stores, I believe, came in and bought it out here and branded this as uh, Foley's. And then, and then after pretty much uh, around 06, all Foley stores were uh, folded and rebranded into Macy's. So, and this is since 2009, this is the one and only Macy's here in Colorado Springs. So, all right, here. Now we gotta be careful because. Escalators and elevator are on the jewelry. So. <coughs> and 
of just trying to avoid capture of employees. So. <laughs> I haven't been to Macy's in so long. They turned jewelry into bedding. But, hey, look what's here. This is, uh, this is an old, uh, uh Montgomery GMP ele hydraulic elevator. It's a scenic one. And, it's on its way down. It's a, View and it's a uh, emergency line zone with Montgomery GMP. There's a fire, uh, fire emergency key switches. Here's your, uh, here's your buttons, ADA compliant phone. Doors only closed. Let's go to two. No indicator in here, but that's fine for only two levels. But I bet you haven't seen this in a department store in like forever. It's a uh, because this is a uh, nice classic. Department store thing here. I got a scenic elevator with the mannequins, and he still uses for display area. For like new trendy outfits. So, going down? Yes, please. All right, I assume we're going to one, right? Yes. Okay, so. First floor. Thank you. My pleasure. So, yeah, that was awesome. Let's get another ride here. Door closes when we push the button when we select the floor. That's awesome. So, and get another look out here. Hello, everybody. If you see my reflection, so how we love you back. So. Twenty-five hundred pound capacity or sixteen persons, as suggested. There's jewelry. Let's go downstairs. Door closes again. We we'll select the floor. So, and those escalators will be on in a minute. So. This elevator. It's not sound too good though. So. And then there's the new concept Macy's backstage. And here's up here, it's unnamed unbranded Montgomery to Winky M. So Again, there's the scenic display here. I wonder how they get up here to change the mannequins. So, so. And down escalators right there. So. So if you want to read that, so. and here we 
Got one down. Another unbranded Montgomery 20 M. Uh, all right, so time for a way out of here now. Back to the mall. So, And of course, got to talk over the music. And stuff here, we don't want to get a copyright strike. WMG, 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 WMG. So, so WMG, 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 please don't, don't touch this. So, and, so. Almost on our way out. So, WMG, WMG. So, WMG, WMG. So, <laughs> And, of course, there's the next set of escalators and the mall elevator up ahead. So let's just go up. But we can't go down the escalator. It's broke. Down escalator is a Montgomery GNP. Up is a Montgomery Twin PM. Of course, again, maintained by uh, Otis. But I think they just put a generic barrier here. It's a... <laughs> And let's hope the elevator is working. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so. so Montgomery two PM. Of course, the broken Montgomery GMP, maintained by Otis, and this came as part of the 1998 uh, renovation here, which includes a huge Schindler Hydro um, Schindler HT hydraulic elevator, scenic, and it's got the fountains. So, come on up here. Hope it's working. Did not ring with so. us. So. Come on, let me in here. So let's go. LL. Coincidentally, the door closed when we push the button. So. There we go. Floor indicator ahead of itself. Typical similar thing. So going down. And got dual sets of fixtures here. ADA compliant phone over there. Let's go back up. Door close, of course, does not work. So, and it does not matter which door close button I press, neither work. Oh, this sucks. Well, I hope you don't need a phone. So, or everybody's got a cell phone, because that's epic fail. So, yeah. so, back on two. 
Let's going down. There we go, folks. All right, and so, sucks we can't uh, can't access the ADA compliant phone, so that is a total fail. So, huh. all right, here, and of course, this is uh, entrance into Macy's slash Foley's slash Joslin's so, furniture department here and <coughs> this is we're going into the Dillard's wing now so of course this is uh, so you see a little set of stairs here and a ramp it just proves here part, parts of this mall were built on a hill same train carries into the upper level and so uh, let's see here so this mall currently does have uh, the four anchors, has the Dillard's, the Macy's, Dick's Sporting Goods, and uh, AMC Theater as well. That theater counts as an anchor. Oh, I should have also mentioned here, so forgive me, my history's a little choppy. This mall, um, this mall actually also used to include a Kmart as an anchor. Sorry about that here. I also want to say a little, a little more history about this mall here. This mall also used to include Kmart as an anchor. That Kmart closed in 2009. And then 2013, that part was renovated with a, uh, a newly built uh, Carmack Theater at the time. And then between, like, around, I think, 2016, 2017, Carmack was acquired by a multi... American Multiplex Cinema, aka AMC, so it's now an AMC theater, and uh, this confirms that uh, Burlington is now closed here, this is the lower level of it, and uh, of course, this is, Burlington is also a former Mervyn's department store, it had two levels itself, so, and so that's an epic fail, so, <laughs> Hey, and let's see here. Of course, I forget what this used to be, but it was not originally a glow golf. And so now we got uh, so I got some karate class going on there. Proves that malls these days, malls these days, you know, have to be more than just for shopping. So if we could bring a lot of community events in here, so. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, the Taekwondo studio. And, well. It's a other set of escalators in the mall, but apparently it's an epic fail. These are Montgomery Tweaky M's. Up is broke, but of course, Otis doing a fine job maintaining. So let's just go ahead and head on to this three story Dillard's. It's still a full service store. So, open 1995. So, there's a directory there. And, let's get this out of the way. So, and I believe up is to the left. Excuse me there, folks. And of course, O and K escalators. So, and and 
and this escalator configuration right here still totally like just totally screams classic department store decor so and unlike the citadel dealers this is still full service here that one downgraded to a two-level clearance center and we get a third floor to go up to so, and of course O and K all the way up and down. So. <laughs> and of course, down is behind me. So. <laughs> That's the entrance to the parking deck. So. Oh, another epic fail. <laughs> For the escalator and food enthusiasts, this may not be our day. Oh, I wonder who maintains this. So. Well, not sure who maintains this because Montgomery's out of business, but uh, apparently I guess it proves that the store itself owns the barricades. So, well, let's just go ahead and get the elevator out of the way. So, <laughs> wait a minute. Here. Never mind. So, I don't know. Elevator sign. Let's see what it is here. It is. What's this way? Direct unit is a Dover Impulse. So let's go down. Rigan Mote. Yep. See, <laughs> bad guys like the shirt. Absolutely. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, going down. Yes, sir, we're going to two actually. Not bad. So, so. Slowing you down. I'm sorry. It's all right. So. All right. There's two. Oh, so, that, you too. <laughs> all right, that was easy. So. Fixtures, and a foam, burned out indicator. So, but nice cap view here. This is beautiful elevator, all right. So, and there's onto one in the elevator bay again directory. Let's go ahead and go to three. And door close button works, I believe. Dover Impulse, 1995. So. All right. And I want to end mine on two going down. Yes. Thank One you. or two. two. All right. So. Go. Oh, sorry, folks. Sorry. <laughs> so, are you coming this way? Come oh, on in. So, hit. Everybody going to two or <laughs> two? Yep. Awesome. So. Yeah, sure. All right. There you go, folks. Thank you.
so much. My pleasure. All right, excuse me. Okay, so. And of course, well, last time when we ran the gauntlet here, this is where we ended. But, there's plenty of them all to still show you, so. <laughs> Talent socks if anybody needs some. So, WMG, WMG, Sony, and all the other publishers. Sorry, folks. Just got to try to do something here to, you know, over the music. So, <laughs> so. nice renovated jewelry counter and cosmetics. So, Of course, we are on the upper level Dillard's wing now, so I figured we've had some epic fails with the escalators here, so just want to come out here, and then I'll show you the rest of the mall. So, as you can see, uh, our escalator broken, and... Monofob nail shops here. We've got Merle Norman, Aladdin's Rug Gallery. This used to be a jewelry store. I think it was uh, Gordon's Jewelers. And again, there is that uh, recently vacated uh, Burlington uh, Coat Factory store, the upper level. And let's see here. Got a garage door dealer here that used to be a Trade Home Shoes. And uh, it's a lot of former like tenants have came and gone from here. This used to be in a, like a nice, like a store that sold like a lot of knives, but now it's I think it sells a lot of Western wear. So, or just advertisements here. So, Kirk and Hill, that's a local uh, clothing store here. And oh. Train home. I didn't move too far, I guess. So, uh, Hallmark uh, Gold Crown store used to be up here, along with uh, some sports, like primetime sports, I believe. They should have sold like sports team apparel. So, there's uh, Gold Academy again on the first level. This, uh, this little American vape and cigs apparel. Vape e Sig's apparel store that used to be an older uh, Pac Sun, I believe. This Avier Furniture Decor Gifts. This used to be the uh, Hallmark Gold Crown. Of course, Zoomies still here. And of course, we're still going to thriving Maurice's and HM. HM, one of the newer clothing stores to join. So, I think it was about a couple of years ago, though. And now, well, I guess we'll show you the food court from up here, though. So.
classic cage jewelers, Hellsburg diamonds. Still here. It's nice. Down there is where we started with the former Sears and uh, service merchandise slash JC Penny slash uh, upper half Gordman's. <laughs> and food court here. Oh. There's still a lot of options to choose from. I mean, now you got a. I remember when DQU and Orange Julius used to be two separate companies. Now, of course, it's just a DQ Orange Julius. The Orange Julius originally used to be right around here where this. Uh, which is now taken out and replaced with the. Uh, for the jewelry store, but now it's well, this makes sense. Coles chocolate and popcorn. It would be nice if they were open though. These are now mostly local restaurants. Uh, famous Walk. If you can just tell, probably by the counter that used to be Sabaro. And let's see here. The only other national chain thing is that's still here. Well, in the food court. That is, besides DQ Orange Julius is right there, the Chick Fil A. This also does have uh, Auntie Anne's pretzels on the lower level. So we've got a burgers, pizza, and pasta place here. Uh, Smoothie Paradise at pot, initial uh, upon the 90s renovation that was a McDonald's. GP Subs. Well, say it with me. Uh, Blaine, obviously a former Subway. So. <laughs> And uh, as far as uh, food courts, well, this does, well, uh, this, this still does appear pretty nice look to it. Um, let's see here. That's a mural of Garden of Gods of Rocky Mountains here. Before that mural, that used to be the overlook for the ice rink. And... So you see here that you have the, that for the cross of the mall here, you would also, during the 100 months here, you'd also have the option for uh, alfresco dining. So, <laughs> however, to be honest, as far as the scenery goes, uh, uh, I'm going to agree with uh, another supporter of mine, Brick and Mortar, who is a uh, also filmed here, that the Citadel does have a, a little nicer food court with the, fount with the surrounding uh, fountains and everything. No, that's just doesn't get any better than that, though. And oh, also, before I forget, I also do want to say, hey, shout out to, shout out to, of course, Brick and Mortar, Awesome Will, and MMT Fan 1. So they've uh, filmed here as well. Of course, you know, every once in a while, well, this one used to have an arcade, but I guess this is the closest thing to it. So, and takes it out this way here. All right, talk over the music again here. So. All right, and so again, here's Macy's entrance on the upper level. And of course, this wall still has a train for the little kids here. To, you know, goes around the upper level of the mall. So, ever seen a mall with a TV station inside? So. <laughs> Of course, you got buckle here. This is a new, newly renovated buckle with, uh, of course, also American Eagle outfitters. So, and let's go down this wing here to the right. This is the only single level wing in the mall, proving that the uh, that since the mall was built on a hill, uh, 
that apparently the upper level is larger. So this mall altogether totals, after all the renovations, about 1.1 million square feet of gross leasable space. And now, before 2009, we would be walking to a Kmart here on this wing. So, and, and of course here, this is not the, of course not the original theater. Before the renovations here, the theater, the old Carmine Theater here used to have like a few screens. It was like, <coughs> it would take up like beyond both halves of the mall. And it had the older style seating versus the seating seating you see today here at this uh, AMC slash Carmine. And of course, this is a new. Uh, upon renovations here, this is a newer entrance to the theater and the mall itself. This, of course, every dead mall has one of these here. It's a former pay less. So, now, brief run down here. Again, the mall originally built in 1982 and uh, was owned and operated by General Growth Properties. Uh, General Growth, apparently, did fall on bankruptcy and in the, in the earlier 2000s so therefore the small did suffer and then 2011 once general growth did uh, uh, recoup recover from the bankruptcy around that time here the uh, chapel hills was up for sale as a one of the one of the underperforming malls and therefore was sold to i believe uh, uh, Coyote, like Capital Investments, and some other uh, group I forget its name, some other realty group I forget its name, though. Uh, they ran the mall from like, to, they owned the mall from like 2011 to about 2017, somewhere around there. Uh, they also apparently uh, fell behind on several loans and, you know, of not only this mall but other malls here. And then around uh, 2018, this mall joined uh, this mall here along uh, joined and became a sister mall to, to the Citadel when it became part of what it is today Namdar Realty so that's a little rundown of overall Chapel Hills Mall here of course uh, again now if this was like before the renovation uh, I would not be able to stand here because there'd be a uh, I wouldn't be able to stand outside here because I think this would be part of the original Carmack Theater, which had uh, this facade here. And who knows, maybe I could show some, maybe some pictures from Label Store, I believe. So, you know, they have a lot on this mall, so. <laughs> but hey, let's go ahead and around here. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. So, uh, should I maybe do more uh, exploring, like, you know, soon to be like clothes and former retail stuff like that so and if you like what you saw please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you haven't done so already also please you know make sure uh feel free to connect with me just subscribe hit the notification bell it's like all notifications so thank you so much for watching here hope to see y'all see y'all back here on the channel here and thanks again for your support keep that going around so stay happy and positive robbie p2 out Thank <laughs> you.